Ladies and gentlemen, if you believe in having the best role building tools in Foundry Virtual Tabletop, then I have a fantastic module for your thoughtful consideration. The Monk's Enhanced Journal module will boost your role building experience to the next level. For example, do you enjoy the quest displays that appear in Assassin's Creed, Skyrim, Witcher 3, World of Warcraft, and many other awesome games? This nice module gives game masters the opportunity to set custom objectives to complete, and these objectives will be displayed on screen when the notes tool is selected. This is awesome because it gives your players an easy reminder of all the side quests, story hooks, and adventure ideas available to them. We all know that players can be forgetful people, but no one can forget quests if they are constantly displayed on a quest menu on screen. As your players finish quests, you can mark them as complete. What do you think of this feature? Let me give you a brief summary of each bonus feature and a rock solid example of how this can elevate your world building experience. The first asset is the checklist journal, which enables game masters to create step by step checklists. This is a fantastic way to organize the sequence of events in your adventure. Here is an example adventure. Your players are heroes that have been falsely accused of treason. In prison, they befriend a hobgoblin convict and escape. Their new friend offers to help the players stay with them in their home in exchange for helping them settle a new land. The players agree and the party sets off into the dwarven ruins where the hobgoblin settlers are hiding. On the way, the players meet a roving gang of lizardfolk cultists that want to sacrifice them to their god. After a tense encounter, the players meet the hobgoblin settlers and establish a new village, which will serve as their home base from now on. Done. The second asset is the encounter journal entry, which lets you easily organize encounters. The game master can add a description of how combat starts, how many monsters, and the loot gained in any relevant difficulty checks relating to the terrain or enemies. There is even a private note section for any secret events. The third asset is the enhanced journal entry, which is just a regular journal entry except it has an easier interface to switch between the description and picture. The fourth asset is the loot journal entry, which allows for easy loot distribution among players. Just drag over the characters you want to receive loot and add all the loot and money they gained to this sheet. Then share the sheet with your players when they earn the loot. The fifth asset is an organization creator, which lets you customize its description, relationships with places, people, and other organizations. It also tracks any donations in items or money that players might give to these organizations. The sixth asset is a journal entry to create a person. This creates the description section for their background, the physical details, their relationships with other people and organizations, and any donations you give to this person. The next asset is a simple picture journal entry for showing landscape art or illustration to your players in game. The seventh asset helps you create a location like a town. The place journal entry includes a description, details, townsfolk, shops, relationships, and private notes. The eighth asset helps you create a point of interest journal entry which is intended to be added to a world map. This creates a marker on a map for your players to investigate at a later point. The next asset is the shop journal entry, which helps you create stores in your campaign. Simply add a description, add the items, and create relationships with other people or places. The last asset is the slideshow journal entry, which is great for creating a prologue and cinematic cutscene. The game master can show a sequence of slides and add audio to tell a nice story. Ladies and gentlemen, if you believe in having the best world building tools in Foundry Virtual Tabletop, then I recommend you give this module a try. I posted a link to the module in the video description below. This is not a sponsored video. I am making this video to help you. If you share our vision of creating amazing interactive adventure games, we have a whole playlist of helpful and awesome Foundry VTT modules in the video description below for your thoughtful consideration. What should we cover next in our videos? Let us know in the comments below. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time.